Hello, welcome to Turn Right Machine Works. My name is Keith. Today the name of the game is this two and a half inch diameter, 14 and a half foot long marine shaft. And we have a uh, packing area here and another um, bearing area, mid shaft between here and the coupling uh, for extra support. Uh, those areas are worn and we need to address those. Uh, so let's get it on. Now here's the packing area here and you can see where this is extremely worn here. And you can see the gap in through there. Basically about from there out to where we've decided to, to cut and uh, even that uh, amount right there for the build up is about two inch, oh, two inch 300. Alright, two three thirty, so we're uh a hundred and oh sixty five eighty thousands per side. Alright, uh, we've marked this off here and here. This is the length of bearing contact for the mid-ship uh, bearing support. And we've gone here and it's back and forth about 10, 10 high, to five, 10 to 5, all the way across here, undersized. Uh, it's, it, it actually is rippled pretty good. And this is the uh, Babbitt bearing that supports that. And of course it's full of grease here now, but you can see the ripples in it there 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 some, some pretty good grooving there and uh, we're gonna go ahead and undercut this we're gonna wall build and repair that and we're uh, we're still looking for this re a replacement for this exact bearing and uh, if we can't find one here shortly um, we're gonna go ahead and repair this This is how I get shafting in and out of the lathe is run it through the hole in the wall then bring it straight into the back there and I'll show you the hole on the other side. Alright so once I bring the shaft through the hole and then I straighten it I set it on this uh, post right here and this is a piece of uh, Delrin strip and it just glides and this just basically supports the uh, end of the shaft there. But we're going out for right now, we're going to go get these welded up and then we'll bring that back in uh, to get it set up for final machining. passes we got the uh, the packing areas done and we'll give you a close look at that before we start going for this diameter here now the name of the game is to come in here and put a wall bead on here without any undercut over here or over on this side right here now this uh, not that uh, I might have one or two little spots around here uh, but this is a good look at the, a good prime section right here now I'm going to explain how I get a nice start like this and a nice finish like this uh, on your on your individual beads 
Now here's the cutaway here. All right, and I come in and I take and I start an arc and I usually start it inside my section right here. Ignite it. Come over here. Pause against that side right there. And then slowly just hold a close arc along here. When I get to this side over here, I just pause right there and then roll back in about that diamond right there and lift away. And uh, I'm going to see if I can get a, a lens on here so I can give you a picture of that in progress on this one right here. This should be one pass around and it'll be done. And I've got, uh, I've got a line right here and another line 180 from there. So we're going to do a preheat and I'm going to get the tripod up and I'm going to see if I can get a lens on here and get you a, a bird's eye view. But start up here, come over, pause, straight line, pause, up. Taking your flux off, you start it the same exact way. Come in here, pause, and then come right across the top, right at the edge of your feet that you laid down first. Alright, we, we brought the shaft into the machine shop here and we set it down on the floor because we had to check uh, a run out before we get it in there. Uh, with 250 pounds of shaft, <laughs> you don't want to be moving it around too much. And I mean, it's pretty, it, it's quite a bit. I mean, I have the equipment to help me do it and you, you can see how I get it in and out the, uh, the, of the lathe. Anyway, we had about 25,000 run out down here and we had about 10,000 down by the packing area we repaired. Uh, we came in here and we took and we put three well beads on here to contract this side of the shaft and, and create our uh, our draw. The same uh, one bead down on the other end. We're now running within two thousandths. 
at this end here if I don't shake it too much and uh, less than one down at that end so let's get it in the lathe center drill prep for the fit and face on the coupling after we get done turning the uh, other two diameters. We set our steady rest and we're going to run between the four dog and the steady rest to keep the concentric diameters turning through to turn the wall diameter build up. Okay we're set up there and I usually come around to this side here and no I don't lube up the lips but I do give a a little squirt just on this so that it uh, guides on the top of this Delrin piece right here. Okay, we're getting ready to put the center drill in here. Uh, one to support it for the fit and face at the end, but also to do our own center uh, line setting for this steady rest because we're going to be transporting the steady rest out in the different increments on the on the shaft when we're working that walled area between the steady rest and the four jaw. Four jaws dialed in, it's it's not even moving a tenth. And we're running zero uh, right here between our rollers because those are a fixed point. And now we're gonna go ahead and put the center drill in. center drill in there now. Alright, uh, we've got our aluminum shims in here. We're in a position we want to work this area. Now ideally we want uh, this side of the weld and this side of the weld both to be running zero so that we can finish this off. Sometimes that's in one, two steps uh, depending on if the bend in the shaft is, uh, is there or if it is running true. Um, so we're going to start dialing this side in here. Um, we got, uh, oh, it looks like about 20,000. We got to crank in here. You get it close and then you got to start tightening your jaw so that uh, you're even on all, all four of your jaws here. Let's see if we can get the last half of that one right there. All right, we got 1,000 run up there. <laughs> Pretty close, we're, we're within one right there. All right, we're gonna get the steady rest in here, close, get our machine travel here, and uh, it looks like uh, we're gonna be pretty well uh, a one-shot deal on this uh, bearing diameter here. <laughs> 